Sportsmen from Chatham used cunning salesmanship and even aggression to make millions by selling fake bomb detectors, a judge has said. Gary Bolton was given seven years in prison today for making the bogus devices at his factory in Ashford. Well, Bolton sold his items around the world, but he was told he'd put lives in danger and damaged the reputation of British trade abroad. Sarah Smith reports from the Old Bailey. Saying goodbye to his family today, Gary Bolton knew that when he walked inside the Old Bailey for sentencing, he'd be leaving in a prison van. Thousands of his fake bomb detectors were sold around the world, particularly in Mexico, Thailand, Pakistan and China. But they did nothing, putting the lives of those who relied on them at great risk. Manufactured here in Ashford, they cost around £5 to produce. They were sold for between two and a half thousand and over ten thousand pounds each, making Gary Bolton millions. In 2001, the bogus device was featured on Tomorrow's World. Even a Royal Engineer sergeant was taken in. I've no idea how it works. Uh, it just works. In fact, it didn't work. As the judge put it today, because these devices did have a random success rate, you were able, by cunning salesmanship, to promote what in truth were useless to a status which deceived all those who bought them. When proper scientific tests showed the devices were useless, Bolton turned on the scientist. The judge told him, you were prepared to be aggressive towards those who dared to doubt the effectiveness of these empty plastic boxes. There was, he said, overwhelming evidence that the devices were bogus, that Bolton had used spurious scientific claims to make enormous profits while putting many lives at risk. Sarah Smith, BBC Southeast Today, The Old Bailey.